Good morning, gamers. We're back again. Yes, that's right. Today, we're back with another episode of Minecraft. I've been thinking for like a good four hours, and I finally figured it out. I finally done it. The intro, it's out of the way. Now, today's build, not quite out of the way yet. Today, we're going to build the biggest build in this world, other than the temple. But the temple, I mean, it has a use. It definitely has a use. I didn't build this thing to not have a use. Today, we're going to build the second biggest build in this world that has a use. The storage cathedral, it's tiny. It's the size of this melon, but smaller after today's build. No offense to the melon, it's great and all, however, this build is gonna be big. It's gonna be huge. If you're hyped for the project, drop a like on this video. If you're very, very hyped for this project, then subscribe too. And if you're already subscribed, then replace that with Twitter. Go drop a follow on Twitter. I can't waste any more time though. We have such a big project to do. We planned this all out last episode. In total, we're gonna have 48 automatic sheep farms inside of this build. That's gonna be three colors of sheep, or three sheep of every single color. That's gonna be crazy. And then, hey, we don't stop there. We keep going we make a big pen in here where the sheep can live good and have a wonderful life where they get to move around and then we can re-dye them whenever we need to so we can like shear them all manually if we have to like you know like for emergency cases and things like that hey it's gonna be crazy you're gonna end up being like like literally a hundred sheep in this thing it doesn't stop there though there's definitely more we're gonna have chests so we can easily send shears to all of these sheep farm we're also gonna have minecart systems to pick up all of the wool and then maybe possibly quite possibly the automatic wool sorter too that's great and all, but there's a big problem. The build, it currently looks like this. Yeah, not good, especially from the sky. I'm fresh back from the nether. It might not look like it at first, but check this out. Basalt, have you ever seen so much basalt? No, true question, you never have. So these are the blocks that we're gonna use in today's build, most of them at least. Basalt is gonna be the star of the show though. Basalt, I was so excited for basalt to get added into Minecraft, like leading up to the nether update, and now it's actually been like a year at this point, and basalt, what has happened? Nothing has happened. Well, nothing other than neglect. Neglect, neglect has happened, happened, definitely for sure. Basalt was so promising, and then I ended up not using it all. The update dropped, and I, like, completely forgot about it somehow. I don't know. But good news, Basalt. Today, it all changes. Basalt is literally the perfect factory block. Maybe the best one in Minecraft. I mean, Smoothstone is up there, too. But Basalt, it's so factory feeling. However, I don't think I could get away with just doing all Basalt. I feel like if I were to build three giant Basalt rectangles, I might see two or three, maybe four four comments about it saying the build it does not look good it is three basalt, basalt rectangles. rectangles yeah i think we're gonna have to unfortunately use some other blocks too notre storage i probably said it before but ever since our renovations notre storage i i love it so much like being around the build is just good like i don't know i really really like the build i want to use that build kind of as a template for what we're going to do on today's build basically kind of copy the vibe but at the same time like make it distinct make it different like it can't be the same thing of course like i I mean check this out they're clearly two different builds over here we have lots of stuff but a uh, big one here is going to be stone and andesite meanwhile over here big difference here cobblestone and stone completely different combination really significant difference here and it looks so different they almost don't even match please don't take this the wrong way okay please i i love red zone doors red zone doors are good especially on a big build i mean the options that we have in minecraft for like a door is like two blocks like that's that's kind of laughable like i love red zone doors they're one of my favorite doors in the entire game with that being said and that is so sincere too with that being said i i'm not gonna do a redstone door on this build this build is going to be bigger than the storage building but there is not going to be a redstone door if i wanted to put a redstone door on this build i could put one on the build i would have to like plan out space though and like think about the door how am i gonna do it what am i gonna do with the redstone door and i would have to plan the redstone door i mean if you want to see a redstone door i've got you hooked up check this out perfect spiral too you can't really beat it. I love redstone doors. They're so cool and, and they're fun to set up, but we're not doing a redstone door today. However, the build is going to be big and we couldn't just put like a normal door on the build. That would look weird. And I don't really want to leave the build open either. It's like a factory and a factory probably shouldn't just be like left open. Here's a loophole that I'm thinking. We build a tunnel door or at least I'm going to call it a tunnel door. So we make this like loop with stone bricks right there. Then we take basalt, polish basalt and put it in here because it kind of matches. So now we have that, right? Then watch this. We're going to put a spruce trap door right there. We're going to grab the spruce door and put it right there and then because we have this whole arch thing here i feel like it's gonna make the door fit on the build a whole lot more and if it doesn't well there's no option it's gonna have to it's gonna have to work next up moving on up i can't believe it how have we seriously not used one of these on the build yet i mean we kind of did like we kind of did but it's time yep it's time we're gonna 
you seriously think this is an arch? Come on, like, I don't literally only build arches, you know? I, I build other things, too. No, 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 it's not an arch. Instead of an arch, we have something even better. Instead of an arch, it's gonna be a small circle, but instead of a circle, it's gonna be two small circles. But I've been thinking about this build, and instead of just two small circles, we could leave it at that, but we're not gonna leave it at that. We're gonna create, like, a border section in here, so what we're gonna do is add a little bit of a bigger circle, or I guess a diamond, uh, to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that spot right there is gonna be like a transition part. Now it's actually basalt time for real. We're gonna use more basalt on like the top of the build. When I think of a factory, I think of more of like a square shaped building. Not necessarily like only a square, but yeah, definitely more boxy. Like it's a factory. It's usually a pretty heavy, sturdy, strong looking building. So we're gonna start with walls right there. Cobblestone walls. I think that'll kind of like blend from like the stone up to the basalt. Then what we're gonna do is create these like tall basalt pillar areas. Because I don't know if it's just me, but this stuff kind of looks like, like a steel building beam or something so that's kind of like what i'm imagining but it's not steel it's basalt but uh anyways we're, we're gonna take these things and make them go like really high up on the build i don't really know how tall we're gonna make the build quite yet but i'm thinking something like that and then we put like detailing blocks on the middle to make it look like really cool maybe like iron bars on this thing and then like lanterns hanging off of it too and then we have like a square top on this part of the build we won't use square tops everywhere but like a, a flat one up there i feel like that would make this definitely look like a factory like you would know I'm still shocked. I mean, it makes sense. It definitely makes sense. I've been watching like B-double-O and I, a couple of people lately, like Etho and stuff. I, I can't believe it. The Hermitcraft season is like over. B-dubs though, our boy B-dubs. I say B-dubs because I think this inspiration is coming from B-dubs note blocks. I've been like obsessed with them lately. They're such a nice block for like detailing a build because of like the texture. Like it looks so good. So note blocks. I think I want to pull some note blocks out, put them on this build. Maybe we go up like that, like a section of four and then we cut this right across and then what we could do is like iron bars on the top, kind of like a like a top railing. We'll have that cut right across too. I feel like that'll make sense. And, and then this one. I completely missed the jump so we'll finish that up. Same thing with the note blocks in there i just love note blocks they look so cool oh you know what i wanted to do this in here so maybe we make it like one taller i feel like one taller would be fun gamers i'm one short however look at it right there yes yes note blocks for sure absolutely the nice thing about this too is i finally have a use for this trash like look at all of this jungle logs so much like jungle log city practically and there's even more jungle logs up top like if you use jungle logs ah if you use jungle logs, I just don't trust you. Like, who uses jungle logs? It's 2021. Are you using jungle logs? Jungle logs. That's interesting. I mean, obviously, you, you use jungle logs to craft them down into planks, and then you use the planks for, for other things. Like, that's an efficient use of the stuff for sure. Jungle logs. Ah, uh, jungle logs. Guess that's all I can say. I can't believe it. We're actually already almost done with the front of the build. So check this out. There we go. We got the note blocks in there. We have cobblestone walls on top of the walls. What I'm going to do near the end of the build is come back and put like lanterns on it. I think that's going to look pretty cool. But this piece of the build is basically done. All we need to do is figure out behind those circles. Then I think we're going to move on to probably that part of the build next. I have a really cool idea for that thing. All right, I don't know if this worked, but what I was thinking is maybe inside of the circles, we put basalt facing out because it kind of matches the cobblestone on the build, right? And, and then it blends it up so we get like the darkness from up there and the lightness for, or like the texture from down there and it kind of combines it in the middle. I feel like it works. I feel like it's good. Okay, let's move on to the next part. So there's this nice block. You, you maybe have heard of it before. It's been in the Minecraft for like a little while now. It's called basalt, uh, specifically polished basalt. It's a really good looking block. If you haven't used it before, I highly recommend it. Like don't sleep on it. Basalt, uh, polished basalt specifically. That's gonna be our best friend for this next part of the build. So this part is gonna be long. This is the round tangle that we're working on now. I think what we're gonna do is do like polished basalt in here, right? And then like somewhere in here, probably like right here. I feel like this would be uh, maybe an okay spot to start what I want to do. So yeah, yeah, we'll do polished basalt right there. Polished basalt over here too. And this is going to go up uh, pretty tall. We need to save room in here for what we're going to put on the inside. But we do polished basalt, right? Then we grab our stone. All two of them. Actually, 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 let's move everything over one. It was a strong start, but this makes more sense, definitely. We put the log there, we put a staircase there. That all mirrors that, it like feels complete. So polished basalt right there. Then we grab our stone and we put it on the outside. And the stone is gonna go up maybe like one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, maybe like seven. Seven's a good number. We, we go seven up like that. And then we go seven up over here too. And then we have two staircases like facing each other. And the whole time, all of this is happening, we have polished basalt on the inside, even up here too. Uh, we'll do 
something else to like cover up this area but this is what we're creating a sweet window that is really tall thin and, and really tall and it has an arch up there with the staircases so it's like a tall arch window and then what do we do well easy we do it again then we do it again then we do it again then we do it again and again and again and again and again and then look at this this actually coincidentally ends up being perfect like right here in line with this arch bit uh we're gonna do this one different we're gonna do like a big window or something like that but there we go so for this side basically two wide windows going the whole way and then we'll put the panes in here even with the basalt by the way uh so that way they like actually connect and then we have the arches up there which add like a cool shape to the window i don't know if we're gonna be able to see it too much from here we'll have to pull out some of the trees for sure but yeah that's gonna go like that all the way down that side of the build and then on the back side on the back side of the build wait for it on the back side of the build we're gonna do it all again but even better for the back side it's like even with the ground so there's actually gonna be a little bit of a view actually though honestly the view of the window doesn't actually matter that much because now that i think about it we're gonna have sheep pens sitting in front of every single window we won't really be seeing out of these windows no matter what i guess Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, instead of just plain stone on these walls, we're actually going to mix andesite in here too to make the walls look like a, a little bit more detailed. I feel like that looks pretty good. Then we're going to come back in and put cobblestone walls on these walls. I'll put lanterns on like every other one or maybe even just all of them. So we have like a really, really bright perimeter on this build. And then we have these flat uh, like intersection areas where I think I'm going to come back in and actually put some upside down staircases. I think that the more staircases in there is going to make this build look pretty sweet. It's also going to add a lot of depth to the build. Both good things. So to be honest, the roof on this part of the build is I think actually going to be pretty easy. I think what we want to do is start with an outline. The outline is going to be made out of basalt, which uh, speaking of, check this out, 25 left. I started with like five stacks. I have 25 left. I'm like almost out. This pop out area though with the basalt, it's going to end up sitting on top of the staircases. So I'm going to have to go back to the nether to finish all the basalt, but we have like a row of basalt. Maybe I'll end up like filling this in with like dirt or something like that. So we don't have like a dark space. Either way though, next, the actual roof. Now the actual roof on this part of the build, I think it's going to be built out of wood and cobblestone we'll have like cobblestone sections coming up every once in a while like maybe honestly we start one right here so we'll have like cobblestone then we'll have wood um we'll skip this one we'll go over to maybe like here then another cobblestone section then we'll go down even more and do like another cobblestone one you know and then the roof is it, gonna be so simple it's gonna be so easy we're just gonna do a 45 degree angle up a couple blocks we don't want it to get too tall definitely can't be taller than this then we'll just go flat across on that side we'll create like a curve like i'll try and follow it up somehow honestly i still have no clue how i'm actually gonna do this side maybe i'll put like staircases on that end and just cap that off and then maybe like basalt along the bottom and then just like all glass or something that could be pretty sweet get a good view of the dirt that's kind of nice looking <laughs> something like that but the roof is gonna be so easy oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so to add more detail though we're gonna do spruce logs in here spruce logs and dark oak they are like a perfect like literally perfect combination look at that so that's how we're gonna make the roof look even better and then i'll put staircases on top of the cobblestone so like these bits pop out a little bit but they go up all the way and like wrap around i also made some other changes to the front of the build check it out i have more cobblestone walls on there i put cobblestone walls at the top too i think that's gonna be cool and then i've definitely decided that this basalt stuff it has to wrap around to like the other side so we'll probably end up like copying the design pretty similar or uh, like over there going down along the back side of the build it looks really flat right now but i feel like like with that giant area too that build it's like really coming along however it's uh time to go over to the nether hub for me specifically the lodestone wall remove the secret door and then stand back here and get a ton of basalt i need like way more because i haven't even touched the other side and i think i want to use basalt on the other side too build update it's going good check it out lanterns up top fences down low i feel like the fences down there make that feel a whole lot more like sturdy if that makes sense and then i put lanterns all the way down this side the roof up here is fully finished on this side and detailed i have the cobblestone i have the spruce i have the dark oak i have it all that whole side is basically done on the front <laughs> i saw the whole backside to do in here 
But it's been going so good. So far, I've been so lucky. I have enough blocks of like every single type, uh, other than basalt, after I got back from the nether at least, to, to do everything. It's so easy. I haven't had to cut down a single tree. I haven't had to go dig out any cobblestone, of course, because I have so much cobblestone. Yeah, it's been going really, really nice until I get to this spot. Uh, this is what I got right now. That's about it. I put basalt there instead. Yeah, so for the most part, this build is coming along like really, really easily. But that wall, I can't decide. I actually put some stuff in and then had to tear it out. It was just really bad looking. We wouldn't talk about it. See, I tried something with like solid blocks and it just didn't work. I think what I'm going to end up doing is basically just going crazy with like the glass in there. Glass from, from floor to ceiling. And then if I change it later when we do the interior, I change it. That's fine. It, it's cool. Speaking of the interior... I don't know. We might do it today. We might not. It just depends. Let's talk a little bit about the height of this build, though, because it's starting to get tall. Like, check this out. So I wrapped the front design around the side right there. It's the same exact thing. No blocks, iron bars, everything. I didn't finish the walls up top, but it's the same thing. Uh, but notice anything? Yeah, this section right here is like three blocks, maybe four blocks away from being the same exact height. However, like the top of this build technically stops on that part because those are iron bars. So basically all of that means one thing. This side right here, where I'm at right now, it needs to stop. It can't get any more taller or it's going to get like too tall. I wanted this side to be lower than this. So I think what I'm going to do is cap it right here, uh, fill the roof in, like just make it flat here, leave room for like big skylights in here, like in every single section. I think that'll look good. All the way down to, to this one so skylight here there there and there so four of them and then i'll put glass inside of them over here don't talk to me about it don't talk to me leave me alone oh man this isn't good this isn't good the first real genuine tragedy of the day and it's not only one tragedy it's actually two tragedies so the build it's been being built i've been working on it for a long time couple hours now at this point it doesn't look like it maybe but yeah it's been like a really long time and i've been building but let's talk numbers less of building more numbers so 64 glass 64 glass i'm only a youtuber but i'm pretty sure if you add that up that's gonna equal two stacks of glass that's it and notice anything about the build yeah it's not done there are different things about it but glass specifically yeah we're gonna need a lot of glass in here that whole wall is gonna be glass there's gonna be glass all over the ceiling and the skylights is gonna be pretty cool in there too and what's not on the build yeah, yeah, glass is not on the build. I can't believe it. I've used all of my sand in the storage building. There's something like 23 glass or sand left in the storage building. It's not good. And my glass stockpile, it's not looking very good either. I need to get more sand, basically. I have to go to the resource desert. It doesn't stop there, though. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um spruce wood right there on the ground on the floor spruce wood it looks so good it's so nice i don't know how this happened my spruce stockpiles a couple episodes ago i had like 15 stacks of this stuff now i have 28 so that's it that's literally all of the spruce wood that i have left i don't know where it all went i have no clue how i ended up using it all up i haven't used that much spruce in the build but it's all gone all of the logs are missing i need to chop down trees too on a brighter note, though, check this out. The vibes inside of this build are, like, immaculate here. Like, walking in here, this feels like a temple to me. The basalt, definitely factory vibes for sure. I love all of the windows. It's gonna be so cool with, like, the sheep in here. And then down there, like, the big window. I kind of figured it out. I, I did the roof. I actually achieved that. I was pretty proud of it. I think it looks cool. I wrapped it around. I'll show you from the sky in a minute. But then over here, the basalt, like, wraps around. I think we're gonna go straight up with glass. I'll put something else in there. I'm not too sure what it'll be yet, but I'll put something else in there. And yeah, it feels really good in here. I like the skylights, too. Over here. Here we have big developments there's been a big change to the back of the build let me show you it so on the back of the build we're basically going to the front of the build but it's going to be on the back of the build we're going to basically copy it like note blocks everything like that the circle design the basalt i put iron bars on there kind of cozy prison vibes i don't really like that we're gonna have to change that and replace it with glass for sure but yeah the back side of the build is going to be the front side of the build minus the door we don't really need like a back entrance on the build it's just a factory the front entrance is going to be fine yeah that's what i'm going to do and then we're going to put a better wall on the inside and make it look really cool so what's going on with this side of the build well you see i can't tell you i don't know what's going on with that side of the build because right here that's right checkmate this is a cliffhanger but it's more than a cliffhanger you see because if this video doesn't get more than seven likes that's right seven likes i know uh if it doesn't get more than seven likes then you'll never know what i'm going to do in that part of the build because i'm going to tell you in the next episode and if it's not more than seven likes next episode we'll never post in minecraft guide Here's the round roof, though. The round tangle. It fits pretty well. I don't know. I think it needs maybe a little bit more detail, like maybe some spikes on it or something. Like, it needs more. It's pretty plain. So if you have ideas, let me know. It kind of looks like a whale, right? 
<laughs> All right, comment of the day, but it's actually a subreddit update. Heading to the best subreddit in the universe for this one, day two of asking Waddle to put stairs here instead of slab. Huh? Three tragedies, three tragedies. This is bad. This is the worst one. I can't believe it. I have to apologize to every single one of you who watched me build this build in that video. In fact, the video is, it, I'm gonna remove it after this video. If you go and try and check it after, you won't be able to see it anymore because it's gonna be gone. I, I can't believe I've done this. I am a disgrace. Disgrace. Despicable. Disgrace. It's a slab. Come on. Seriously, follow the basic pattern. It's meant to be a staircase. Come on. Come on. Despicable. Finally, finally, I knew something was off about the build. I had no clue, but now we could take a look at it and actually look at it and not cringe. On behalf of every single Waddler and myself, sub to Hitman for the win. Sub to Hitman, thank you so much. Your vision, it is immaculate. 2020. All right, now I didn't know if I was going to do this at the end of today's episode or not, but I've decided. I think I want to do it. Maps are really cool. I want to update the map and see what we have so far. So map update right there. That's pretty much all of the build. That's good. Uh, maps are so cool. Anyways, so that's going to do it for this episode of the guide. Since it was a buildy episode, I decided that we would split it up into two episodes, so it's like not too long. I don't know. I feel like buildy episodes are a little bit different. So next episode, we finish the whole factory inside and out. Still taking name ideas for that factory, by the way. If you have an idea, throw that in the comments. Huge thank you to Hitman for pointing that out about Notre Storage. It looks so much better now. And big thank you to my patrons, Tanner B, Michael A, and Alex Angel Cutie. That's it. This is the end of the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Notification bell so you always get notified. Minecraft Guide 114 is over. It's time to do something else. See you next time.